Good morning, we're here to show you some knots. We're going to do a square knot and a figure of eight knot. Okay, let's get going. So we're going to do a square knot. So I've got a nice big rope, so you can see. Jack's got his nice green rope here, so hopefully he'll be able to follow me. So you need to get your two ends like this. Two ends. Yeah, two ends like that. That's it. And you take the left one and cross it over the right one like that to make a cross. That's it. And then you take the left tag and you tuck it underneath. Look at like that. And that makes one little knot. Okay. Mommy, I made my first man. Lovely. And then we're going to take the right tag and we're going to cross it over the left tag. And we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to tuck that top tag underneath. And then we're going to pull. So we're not just going to pull on this bit, we're going to pull on all the four ropes and pull it tight and it makes a lovely square knot. Okay, so it's a bit like a double knot that you would maybe tie in your shoelaces to make sure they don't undo. But if you go left over right and right over left, it creates a square knot and it's much stronger than just a double knot. Okay, so left over right, tuck it under. Right over left, tuck it under. And pull one, two, three, four ends. Oh, and there you go. Square knot. Okay. Or a reef knot. The next knot I want to show you is um, a figure of eight knot. So this is really useful um, instead of using an overhand knot. So we've done an overhand knot where we folded it over, wrapped it round our hand, and then tucked it under to create a loop. And that's a really simple loop, but sometimes there's a lot of tension pulling on this loop and you would like to use the rope again, this knot can get very, very tight and you can't undo it and you sometimes have to snip it off, which is no good if you are climbing and using a climbing rope or on a boat or something like that where you want to reuse the rope over and over again. Okay, so we're going to do a figure of eight and the figure of eight is much easier to untie. So what you need to do is you make a little man, so you cross your little tag end over the front like that and you make a little head there he is and then you take the tag end and you give him a scarf so you wrap it around his neck and come back around to the front and then you take the tag end and you poke him in the eye and then you take it and you pull and you should end up with a figure of eight knot can you see the figure of eight there Okay. Yeah, and you lost your man. So I'll do that again. So create a little loop, cross it over, wrap it around, give him a scarf, poke him in the eye, and pull it through, and there's your figure eight. And if you wanted to make that, and you're thinking, well, that's just a knot in the middle, if you wanted to loop it onto something, so if you had something to thread it through, like that, like a hole, and poke it through, and then you'd want to feed it back through your knot to make a double. Okay, so you take your end and you basically follow your rope all the way back round. So you tuck it in, like that. And see I'm following this line here, so I'm going to go down there. And then that line goes underneath, so I'm going to go underneath. Like that. And then this line pops up here and goes underneath there, so I'm going to go under there. And then I'm going to go around the top because this goes around the top there and then it pokes through this hole down here and then you pull it tight and you've got your double figure of eight okay and then that leaves you with a loop that you can attach anything onto so if you're climbing you'd be able to attach it onto carabiners or hooks on the boat and the tension that it pulls under here you can really put some tension on it and you still be able to undo it quite easily okay if you didn't have anything to loop it through and you just had clips to hit or little hooks to hook it onto you could just do a double figure of eight by folding your rope in half like this and then doing exactly the same thing make a little man or make a little face like so but it's just got two ropes instead of one give them a scarf so wrap the scarf around and then with the little 
end, poke him in the eye and pull. And you've got your double figure of eight just there. Ta-da! And that means you've left with a loop there. I've used this knot just recently in my garden because I had a swing to attach to a pole. Um, so we use this knot to hold it onto the bar so we could we could clip on and off the um, the swing without oh, having oh, to sorry. use the bar a lot. My, I, 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 so I hope that makes sense. Jack has tied himself to the radiator, so I might need to go and rescue him. Um, I hope that helps you and I hope you find those knots useful. If you do some knots, take some pictures of them and put them in the comments um, and I'll love to see how you've got on. Um, so good knots, square knots and figure of eight knots. See you later. Bye.